What's going on guys and welcome back to John Armstrong Rallying. It's been a little while since i uh, done a, a video, a vlog video or, or talking to, to the camera, sorry about that, but just been busy with other um, stuff to do with, with rallying and, and work, so yes, t taking a back seat. But today, um, this video is sponsored by PlaySeat and what we're doing is building up my brand new um, play seat sensation pro so it's just a bit of a casual tutorial on how to uh, build up your play seat um, I built up one before as my second one but that was the, the silver edition and this is the black one I think there's been a lot of adjustments since then so it's probably a little bit different to, to build up than the last one so yeah we've got this one box here which has all the framework um, inside you can see this here is like the brands and stuff um, so yeah, we're going to pull that out in a minute and then there was another box which has basically got the uh, seat and the pedal um, framework for holding the pedals this here's actually got like the seat mounts already bolted to the seat which my last one didn't so yeah we're going to see what main differences there are but I'm going to set the camera up now and get everything out and then uh, we can start building Guys, as you can see, this here is one side of the, the side rail frame. So this is actually the right side. And yeah, I've got another one I used to take out. But yeah, this is one side. Here's the left side rail. So in terms of the this big box, um, you've got two side rails and then Got this box here as well, so we're gonna see what's inside that. So basically in here um, we've got the rest of the framework, the metal work. Um, so this here's like the part where your servo of your steering wheel will bolt to. You've got adjustable um, hydraulic system for that. And then you've just got, yeah, a few other bits and pieces of metal. It's like this here is your um, mount for your monitor. Uh, this here is also the front part for putting the monitor mounts into. And then, yes, yeah, so here's just like for your seat rail adjustment, you just pull it out. And uh, yeah, there's not really too much to it. These are the nice side parts, really heavy duty. This here's completely different um, seat rail system than I had in my last one, so. As you can see, that's just the complete uh, pedal holder system. Sorry, the terms I'm using, they're not the best, but yeah, it's for basically it's where you mount your pedals. And then this mounts here and there and there to the main frame. So guys, I've got my construction manual ready to go. Um, I'm just going to keep the video rolling and speed it up where I need to speed it up. It seems a lot easier than the last one I built, which was the silver edition. More stuff seems to be built up a bit more, but I'm pretty sure it's updated as well. But yeah, first thing first, need to make sure I've got all these tools, which I'm pretty sure I do. And yeah, I need to crack them with, uh, with one of these bad boys. So. Yeah, let's get going. Basically, I've done what they've told me here and set these down. Um, that's the left side, that's the right side. Set them down like that. And then what I need to do is take this and these these holes slide into um, basically these holes slip into these 
grommets, which is easy. We've got one in either frame. So that's what we're going to do now. Okay, so you go for the right side first because the right side of the steering column um, holder has an adjustment hydraulic which bolts to this bracket and you need to put that on first. So right right side first. So right side of the frame. Um, and yeah, this needs to go through this hole. And I'm gonna put a bolt through that now. And that's the first um, bit of voltage that we're voltage, it's a new term. Um, that we're gonna put in to it and then we'll attach the left side to the other side of the uh, the uh, column. So basically what you need to attach the hydraulic brat to the bracket is this, one of these screws which is a analog key and then these two little washers. Quite simple to do. Um, so you put the, as you can see, you put this part from the bottom up, and the the little washer sits in there. You can't really see it, but yeah, it sits in there, and then it goes up through, and this. Put another washer between the bracket and this part of the extension from the hydraulic part in there, and then the nut screws through. And yeah, I'm just going to tighten that up now, so it is pretty simple to do. So, guys, once you have tightened this up, don't tighten it up too much. The uh, the bracket with the hydraulic part. What we're going to want to do is attach this part to the um, left side of the frame, which is still not attached. So we'll take this, stand it up, flip this part up. And it's just going to slip into slip into the uh, uh, grommet into the hole, and that's the that's it together, as you can see. So. Next part is to attach this between here and here, and that's very simple. It's just two bolts either side that lines up with two holes here and here. So we're going to do that now. So for the bolts, we're using these. Um, it's quite a thick head on it and it screws in as you can see so that's what we're using it's actually quite simple you might just need to push the frame slightly apart not too much like I just did with you slightly apart again So guys, that's basically the first stage completed. I would say we've got both sides, left side, right side, um, attached to the, key, the steering column. And yeah, as I said, they just slip in here and here, and then this here um, joins two, with two bolts either side. And then yeah, that's your brackets for your monitor amount. But yeah, it's the first section done. Okay guys, so the next part is to 
attach the back tubing basically here and here, which is very simple to do. All you have to do is just basically force it in there. So guys, I actually had a little bit of issue getting this one slipped up into the the sort of sleeve of this this part of tubing. Um, what happened was the end was actually slightly bent, which might have happened in transport, don't know. But if that does happen to you, you can't get the can't get that end into this part of the tubing. All I done was use this here, tighten it up and just pulled it so it opened up the uh, the gap. And then what I actually done as well was just you just, you can get a hammer off the little rubber end and then just just tap that either side, get it up in nice and um, nice and tight, nice and flush, and that's that's the best way to do it. So after that, what we need to do is attach a little handle for adjusting the seat rail, which needs these two clips to hold in. As you can see. Okay, so it's actually a bit confusing guys. These um the seat brackets actually are rotated about 90 degrees. You have to rotate them. If you watch me do it now, you have to rotate it around so that the black part of the metal was facing up the way. That was confusing me for a second. Was also just pretty simple as well but a few things to look out for is this here was actually tilted the wrong way so you need to rotate it 90 degrees so the black's facing up the way because your seat bolts in here and then yeah the uh, the handle uh, seat handle slips into a hole here and then this part needs to go up through this little gap same on that side and then underneath You've got, as you can see, it's a little bit dark, but yeah, this just slips through the hole on the black part, the uh, clip, and then that's it. Now it's time to attach the pedal holder part. Really simple, guys. You just have um four of these slots, one there, one there, on each side, and that's going to line up with there and there, and then you have a couple of bolts to attach it, so, so we're using these bolts, these ones, So guys, that was also very simple to do. All you had to do was line this part of the the bracket or the the uh, pedal holder up with the the brackets at the side. This part goes in front of the brackets attached to the to this. So this part goes in front, and you just put the bolt through. Start with your hands and tighten it up. There's only four bolts. So yeah. Very, very simple. Believe it or not, we're almost done. It's very, very easy to do all this stuff. Anyone can do it. So next step is we're gonna add the brackets for the monitor. These two. So we're gonna line them up and I'll show you how to attach them. Basically you just have four holes on each side of the bracket and that slips into here. And then you just attach, um, attach it with the bolts. monitor brackets have now been fitted like i said very simple just uh, two bolts on either side of each bracket and yeah just tighten them up they're adjustable as well you can slide them back and forth to, to have different amount of tilt on the monitor it's just one last thing to do which is to attach the play seat uh, actual seat and then that's us done guys 
and to attach the seat is also very simple you can see you've got uh, the two brackets there you've got one there and one there and there's holes um, two holes on each and it's just a matter of lining them up with the bracket on the seat and then tighten them up So guys, that's it. Um, finished off building up the play seat now. Um, I'm not going to show you putting all of my stuff onto it because that's just going to take too long. But I just want to show you how to build up the actual play seat. And I'm going to just show you now the last couple of things I've done. Put on the seat very handy. You just have to line these um, slots up with the, the actual sliding mechanism bracket. And an easy way to get this complete the same on either side is put these bolts in either side you've got more on the other side as well and just hand tighten them not too tight so you can move it around and what I done on either side was made sure I could just about put my finger in this gap and it was the same on each side so there and on that one over there and then you know it's pretty much the same on each side and to the eye it looked the same and then tighten these up and that's it it's, uh, it's all good and you can adjust your seat um, quite a lot as you can see so feel free to adjust it to your preference and you can also adjust the uh, the tilt on the pedal holder you've got a couple of other holes you can use there so that's an option as well yeah guys that's um, that's the tutorial over hopefully you found it uh, helpful basically just tried to show you how i built up mine and yeah hope you learned something and it helped you on your way on, on uh, putting together your own play seat sensation pro or it helped you uh, decide that you want to buy one but yeah let me know what you think of the video and until next time thanks for watching and i'll see you soon